Welcome back. Today is Equal Pay Day. A recent study by the Census Bureau shows women in Colorado earn more than $12,000 less per year than men. But there are ways that women can catch up. Joining us this morning is local financial professional Roger Reynolds. Thanks for coming in. Glad to be here. Appreciate it. Okay, so first this latest report. What are the effects of this wage gap in our state? Well, unfortunately, women are paid about 82 cents for every dollar a man is paid. Mm -hmm. And over a time period, that can really add up. In fact, if we look at a 40-year career, it's estimated a woman is paid $417,000 less. Wow. And if she were to invest that money over, say, uh, that 40 years, that could be an amazing $1.6 million. So this, the effects are pretty substantial. Yeah, big time. So what can women do to help close this gap? That's the question, isn't it? When we do our educational classes and workshops, we want to make sure people have, first of all, a written plan, mm -hmm. a financial plan. We would never build a home. We would never try and construct something without a blueprint first. And so we want to make sure we have a financial blueprint. And so part of that blueprint could be things like aggressively saving. We want to make sure we save as much as we can and save it the right way. For example, a study has shown that women, there's only about 22% that have 100,000 in savings and retirement. Whereas with men, it's much higher in the 30%. And so we want to see if we can improve that number. One of the great ways to accelerate that savings is through uh, employer sponsored plans, such as a 401k and uh, 403Bs, those kind of retirement plans, especially if they offer matching. Mm -hmm. Matching is free money, and if we're not taking advantage of that, what a missed opportunity. Now, another idea to bridge that pay gap is simply being smart about Social Security. Yeah. Social Security is complex. There's hundreds of thousands, or hundreds, if not thousands of rules, and so we want to look for opportunities to get the most out of our Social Security benefit. And we encourage women to work with a financial professional that specializes in Social Security. One of the things that a lot of people think is just, when do I file? It's not. It's when do I file and how do I file? Which filing options are best? And so we want to look at options such as maybe delaying. If we delay our benefit between the full retirement age, which is now 66 to 67, all the way up to 70 for each year we delay, that's going to raise our benefit 8% per year. That's substantial. Yeah. That really adds up. And so those are the kind of strategies we want to look at. We also want to be mindful of long-term care, medical needs. Women live longer which is good, but the fact that they live longer means they may need medical care more so than men. Right. So not only are they in charge of many of their financial plans, they gotta be in charge of their medical plans. And so once again, working with a financial professional that helps in all areas of financial planning, not just investments, could really help there too. Yeah, some really good tips there. Really appreciate you coming in, Roger. Glad to be here.